Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild with the 2021 Beginner's Guide. We are going to be continuing the missions for Rancho Del Arroyo today, and in order to do that, we are going to have to head to Bosque Alto to start things out. Which is uh, actually pretty easy, considering we have this outpost unlocked already. This is the place. Find some high ground and do some scouting. So it says, look for anything suspicious in the Bosque Alto Hills. The question is, like, where am I supposed to look? I'm guessing somewhere across the, uh, lake, but it's hard to say. I mean, it really could be anywhere, to be honest. Okay, so right here it actually tells us the mission objectives a little bit more detailed. So I know exactly where this is. It is across the lake as I thought, but it's not the exact spot I was thinking it would be. But it looks like we do need to head to the shack, and that shack is actually over in that area. It's pretty far away, uh, but we should get over there in no time. And in fact, it's probably going to be quicker just to walk across the water right there. And actually, there's the shack right there. So that's where we're heading. And when we get there, we'll jump back to it. Well, since it's on our way, we might as well take out this white-tailed deer real quick, because that actually is a pretty good-looking one, to be honest. It's a very mass-heavy rack. And it looks pretty good overall, so we'll take that guy out. I think we got a good shot. It might have been a little bit high, though, so possible vertebrae. But, I mean, either way, it went down, so we at least got it. Yeah, I definitely would say we hit vertebrae because this guy ran quite a ways, actually. So, I doubt this was a vital hit. It definitely would not have ran this far from a 7mm shot if it was a vital hit, so... I'd say we messed up that shot, but we still got it down and we'll get to look at how mass heavy this rack is and jeez, that thing is such a thick buck. Jeez. 190.40 it would have scored, but we did indeed just get vertebrae. I kind of felt I was a bit high, but... To be honest, I thought it would clip lung and vertebrae. Here we are at the cabin. I am assuming that dialogue will trigger at any moment now, so let's just walk up to it and see what we need to inspect in there. I guess I wasn't wrong about there not being any intact buildings around here. Are you able to get inside? Be careful. I mean, yeah, I'm able to get inside. Someone must have rested here at some stage, but there's nothing to suggest they bunkered down. Try the desk there. Interesting. Peter. What a thing to find out in the middle of nowhere. I'm amazed it's not completely faded. So, I'm pretty sure the guy on the right is Bisabuelo Javier. Even without the head, the suit's a dead giveaway. And his younger friend must be RRS. The date isn't too far off the one in the shotgun, at least. This is weirdly familiar. I feel like I've seen him somewhere before. Let's go back to the Casa Grande. There's a century's worth of old photos and newspaper clippings in Javier's study. Maybe we'll find something that jogs my memory. The landform looks like the one around where they used to water the cattle back when open grazing was still practiced. It's along the Arroyo, but I'm not sure where exactly, and I don't recognize the shrine. Take the photo with you and we can try matching it to your surroundings. Oh, by the way, I got a call from the lab while you were wandering around Bosque Alto. As I suspected, the blood samples didn't turn up any DNA. Ah, it was always going to be a long shot, if you'll forgive the pun. Anyway, I sent the shotgun itself to a gunsmith to retrofit and reassemble. I want you to have it. You didn't have to go out of your way to help solve this mystery that has nothing to do with you. But you stepped up. I know, I know, it's a bit macabre to use a dead man's weapon, but, uh... Look, we're conservationists. Ways not want not should guide us. I doubt R.S. would mind whoever he was. Unless you'd rather it ended up in a museum. So... Didn't think so. <laughs> I asked my cousin to leave it at an outpost. I'll mark on your hunter mate. I think it's done finally? Yeah, I think we're, uh, finally done with the dialogue. Anyway, it looks like we just got ourselves that shotgun. That is super awesome. So we got to go down here. Uh, this is actually where I thought we would probably end up at some point because of that uh, truck that's got the blind on it. 
let's go down there now though we got to get that shotgun i have been excited to earn this and now we're gonna have to do this on our main account as well since this is just the uh, beginner series account which is separate from my main but this is going to be pretty awesome is that a blue bobcat it is that's a blue bobcat is it a male it is okay that's awesome um i don't know if i have anything to shoot this with uh, I most certainly do not. Um, we can always just blast it with the 7mm, I guess, but not gonna get full score. I just want to get this thing down, though, because it is a blue bobcat and they look really cool. Uh, let's see where it went. Uh, it might have got away. Yeah, it actually might have got away, so... I guess it gets to live another day. We will come back for it at some point, though. Actually... Okay, that's a coyote. Not what I was expecting to see. Well, there it is. Let's get a shot on it. That should do the trick right there. Let's go grab that thing. Don't care if we don't get full uh, score on it. I just wanted to get it down because these things look so, so cool. I would absolutely love to eventually get a diamond one with this fur type because they look absolutely amazing. And there we have it, a blue Mexican bobcat, stomach, liver, right lung with the 7mm. Once again, it's not the gun that we're supposed to use on them, but it's all we had on us, so it's what we ended up using. Would have only been a silver though, so not that big of a loss, but cool little thing to pick up along the way. Well, that's a mythical bobcat right there. Once again, I can't get full score on it because all I have is the 7mm, so... I think we're going to leave it. We'll uh, come back for it at some point during this uh, series and hopefully we'll uh, actually have the correct gun on us when we find him again. But at least we know that he kind of rests out here in the fields. So that is the truck that we were talking about earlier in these missions. So I'm assuming that when we go up here, we're probably going to have to inspect this in the next mission or something along the lines of that. And that right there is a bunch of soda cans sitting next to a uh, gas tank. That's um, not the most safe shooting range I've ever seen, but you know, whatever works, right? Before we go inside this outpost to collect the shotgun, let's go ahead and unlock the outpost itself first, just in case we crash or something weird like that. We'll be able to just come back here and uh, not have to worry about having to run all the way over here again. And plus, it gives us that extra 100 XP, but let's go ahead and grab the shotgun. I'm so excited to finally have this unlocked. Um, we don't get to see it super well, but let's just pick it up. I hope it serves you better than it did RS. There we go. We got it finally. News while I have your ear. Remember those gringo intruders I told you about? Well, my cousins just texted me. She spotted their pickup truck again on her way home. Actually... Not far from the outpost you're at now, but no sign of the intruders themselves. Do me a favor, head out and jot down their license plate number. And if you do see them, probably best to just turn back. Who knows what they're packing? So it looks like it just straight up gives it to us. We don't even have to grab it out of the shop. That is so cool. I'm excited to get to use this. Let's buy a little bit of 16 gauge ammo. All right, let's not even waste any time getting a look at this thing. I'm so excited to see it. So this is the Soldado. Let's uh, go ahead and fire off a shot and then take a look at it while being reloaded. So you can definitely see that it's kind of worn down and it's got those engravings on the side of the receiver. That's so cool. I'm definitely a fan of that. Let's uh, do that again and try to get it in the light a little bit better. Yeah, that looks cool. It's not a lot different than the other shotguns or the other versions of the Kuso, but it's got enough character to it to where it definitely makes it stand out a little bit. I would like some sort of an inspect or free look feature in Call of the Wild though, so we can properly appreciate the uh, like history behind this firearm and the uh, engravings and all the markings and stuff on it. I'd love to get a better look at them. So, I was going to make this video just finishing off the missions as much as we could, but I think instead, what we're going to do now that we've unlocked this, we're going to go hunt some pheasants with it because I've been trying to get this for a while and I'm excited to use it. 
I'm super excited to use it. So let's go search for some pheasants up here at the uh, La Casa Grande. There is the call from the first pheasant that we have heard since getting our brand new shotgun. Let's see if we can get this guy to flush close to us so we can actually get a shot on him. There's definitely some more pheasants with him, but as of now, that's the only rooster I see. And in fact, the only pheasant I see. I'm guessing the others are up in front and there actually is one more rooster. But he is going to fly off. Let's see if we can... Yeah, I don't know if we hit that. To be honest, I don't think we did. Oh. Oh, we definitely did hit it. Okay, so that's good. We at least got one of them. Uh, the other one escaped before we could even get a shot on it. I have no clue where he even went, to be honest. But we did get one of them. And there's another one flushing out right now. Looks like we got one. Uh, once again, we missed the first shot, but we got the second one. And I hear even more flying out. Got that one too. And there's our first one. Unfortunately, this was the smaller of the two roosters. But we did get three hits into it, and that was from 74 meters. So, I mean, at that far of a distance, I'll take it. That's uh, not too bad, to be honest. I believe this is the second one that we shot and it is a gray female now we did for sure kill the other one because the hunting pressure appeared from it I just don't know how far it went Jeez, it actually flew a very long ways and we got some rabbits here so blast a couple of those little dudes any more <laughs> any more rabbits uh, that's another rooster, so we'll try to get that, but we just got a bunch of rabbits down with the shotgun as well as our pheasants, so that's actually kind of cool. I didn't expect to be taking out some rabbits as well, and it looks like none of these are really anything too crazy. I hear a pheasant. Oh, there it is. I have no clue if that hit. Not a clue at all. But our other pheasant's right here, so grab that real quickly, and then we'll go see if we nailed this guy. I don't think we did, but there definitely is a little bit of blood, I think. Yeah, that's blood right there, so it looks like we did get it. And there's another rabbit right there. One more rabbit down, and honestly, smoking all these rabbits and pheasants is a decent amount of money as well, so that's pretty nice to get. And we finally found that last little pheasant that we took a shot at. We only got one pellet to hit from 32 meters. We can get three pellets to hit from 75, but can only get one to hit at 32. That just explains my aim, like, completely. So, I'm just now realizing how many bobcats are actually drinking at this lake. They're all females, but this is actually probably a pretty good spot to make money just because of how many are here, because they give, like, 1,000 to 1,500 apiece. This could be some crazy good money. We're actually going to shoot a couple of these before we go over to the opposite side of the lake. Because I do want to place a tent, but... Blast a uh, couple of those first. And I am going to use a 7mm on them because I did not grab the uh, 243. And if I place down the uh, tent, most likely everything will spook, although I think that shot missed, so they should spook off regardless. And yeah, let's just place the tent and grab the correct gun. So let's go ahead and try to take these out with the 243. It's going to be hard because they keep moving, but I think we should be able to do it. That is a hit at least. Going to be difficult though these things are so strange they get stuck in this animation where they're just dancing back and forth the links do the exact same thing it's very strange that was a good shot right there and that should be the last one and it, it's still doing that we'll just uh, put one into that guy too I guess now we are at the other side of the lake and we can finally drop down a tent. We're going to put it like right here. This is where I typically have it on my main account, so we'll just leave it here for now. It's good if you want to just get straight into some pheasant hunting or if you want something to fast travel to when you shoot stuff over here. 
And that's typically what I end up using it for mainly. So let's go ahead and grab all of these little bobcats and even the females as you can see give a thousand cash without harvest check. They really are just awesome money. And I might do a little bit more searching for bobcats just to find what are some of the best spots for them. Not necessarily for like big males but just in general where we can find the most of them in a small area. And we actually just got a level up from that, so that is awesome. Uh, but as I was saying, I want to find some areas that are just covered in bobcats because it might be a great way to make money. And this should be the last one, I believe, 817. Wow, we did not hit vitals on any of them. That's crazy. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and put that skill point in. Looks like we can actually get sight spotting now. This is going to be huge, so... Basically, sight spotting makes it so you can use a scope in order to spot an animal. And that is huge because it makes it so you don't have to switch to your binoculars in order to do the spotting. So let's see if we can find an animal to spot real quick to show you guys what I mean. Previously, we would have had to break out the binoculars in order to uh, spot this. But now that we have this, we can actually use the scope to spot them, which is a huge time saver. So that is awesome. Alright, I think we're going to go ahead and end it there, guys. It's awesome that we finally unlocked the Soldado or Soledad or whatever it's called, I believe. Let's see. The Soldado. That's what it's called. But it's super awesome that we finally unlocked it. I'm enjoying these Rancho missions quite a lot. They've been a lot of fun. And yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for future videos on the Beginner series, be sure to drop them in the comments below. Always looking through the comments to find some good suggestions, so be sure to leave that down below. And a lot of times, if I do see a good suggestion I like, then I'll put it in a video and also put your comment in the video. So it's a good way to get your comments shown to everybody. But yeah, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below, like I was saying, on what you guys want to see in future episodes. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next one. Peace!